Today, we are going to add some fall decorations to the front of our house. We totally plan on renovating the inside, but we just want to finish the outside first. Of our very much made up sorority house. Xena Omega Tri! I really wish we could get more articulation here. Ah, I can't help myself, but I might have to do something about that. Let's start by making a wreath for the door. I am going to have to remove the letters. We can just put those on the top of the house. Ah, I like it up there. For this project, we're using recycled paperboard, fabric, and artificial plants. We have some leftover leaves from our tree and some mini pine cones. Start by finding a small circular object to trace. I'm using a small clay pot. That looks like a good size for the door. Trace around it on paperboard, then flip it over and trace the smaller inner circle. Carefully cut it out. Use it as a guide to trace more. Cut them out. When cutting out that inner circle, I find it a little easier to just cut right through it. Then we can take out the center, make more than one, then stack them so the seam is on opposite sides, apply glue, and glue them together. I'm gluing together about five layers to make the base for our wreath. Cut a strip of fabric. We're gonna glue this going around the circle. I used a hot glue gun to glue it in the back and I'm just taking my time getting around these curves. Then I glue down all of the raw edges in the back so there are no frayed ends and it's nice and clean. Take a few leaves, glue them onto the fabric. I bought a garland at Michael's and we're gonna take a few of these tiny little pine cones, carefully remove them, then glue them onto the wreath. Let's add a few of these using a few different colors to make a fall wreath. Take a paper clip, unfold it, bend one side back. I made it kind of square. Trim off the excess. Then at the bottom, let's make a small rounded hook. Trim it, place the square end over the door, place the wreath on the hook to complete our first decoration. Let's use the excess garland, cut a piece that fits around the door, then bend the wire and move all of the small items so they're facing forward and tightly packed. Cut and move some of the decorations to where you want them using a hot glue gun to attach them. Use some of the excess garland to fill in the gaps. That looks pretty good. Since our house is made of foam, I can use sewing pins at the top to help hold our garland in place, allowing us to hang it over the door without gluing it down so we can switch it out as the seasons change. Let's modify our park bench. This is a craft we made about two years ago and it's about to get a whole new look because you know we are all about that craft, reuse, recycle. I can fit a small bench that's about four and a half inches in this space. Make small marks on the bench. Carefully remove the armrest from each side. The front legs, remove the side supports. I am pretty much taking this entire thing apart. Take the large wooden popsicle sticks, cut on the line drawn. I use an X-Acto knife to cut each one in half. Sand any rough edges smooth. The seat can only be around two, two and a half inches deep. So I take the seat supports and cut them down to size. Let's go with two and a quarter. Here are the supports for the back of the bench. They also have the back legs. Trim off the bottom to make it flat. Glue on the seat supports going forward. These are the ones that we just cut to two and a quarter inches. Measure the front legs to the back legs mark and cut on the line drawn glue them onto the ends creating two chair like shapes take the cut in half craft sticks glue them going across leaving a small space for the back and seat to make a small bench i have one little cut piece left over 
I'm gonna glue that right to the front for a little extra support. Hmm, I think those legs could still use some help. So I take the armrest, measure them to the bottom of the bench, cut on the lines drawn, glue the legs on top to make a pretty sturdy bench. Place it on the porch. We made a small pillow using the same fabric from the wreath to place on the bench. Take a large craft stick, cut off the rounded ends, sand the rough edges smooth, use acrylic paint, and paint it dark brown. I kept the paint thin so we could still see a little bit of the wood grain. With a pencil, I very lightly sketch the words, then paint over them with white paint to spell Hello Fall. My F is off a little, but hey, it's handmade, so some imperfections may exist. Lean it up against the house for a warm autumn greeting. Take a small scrap of felt, cut it to a rectangle, take black craft foam, I'm using one with a sticker back, peel back the protective layer, place the felt on top, cut around it, use acrylic paint, to paint welcome to make a welcome mat. Place it right in front of the door. Take small terracotta pots, cut a long strip of felt, roll it, place it inside of the pot to look like soil. Take small pumpkins and some artificial leaves, glue the leaves to the felt, glue one of the pumpkins on top of the leaves, glue more leaves on top, add another pumpkin, to make a pumpkin topiary. Make two to go on either sides of the door for a little symmetry. Take more terracotta pots and add little tiny flowers. I'm sticking to colors like yellow, orange, and cream. To me, these kind of look like mums and the more, the better. Cover the front porch with them. Sprinkle in a few pumpkins to complete our fall decorations. Oh, I love this. It is so festive. You can just smell fall in the air. Now that the outside of our house is all done, I can't wait to start on the inside. But we'll have to save that for next time. Thank you for joining me while we made some miniature fall decorations. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive. Stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me